Hi friends, Saurav here. Welcome back to my channel. In our last tutorial, we have learned about DML triggers. Lot of examples we have seen there. So today we are going to learn about instead of trigger in Oracle. So what is instead of trigger? Why we use instead of trigger? What is the, you know, what are the uses of instead of trigger? All these things we will learn today. Okay. So using instead of trigger, you can control default behavior of insert, update, delete, and merge operation on views, but not on tables. So this is very first point and important concept about instead of trigger is whenever we perform instead of trigger we have to perform that on views and what we can use what we can do using that we can change you know we can control the behavior of insert update and delete and merge operation okay so uh, this is the first point and the second point is where we can use and you know how we can use the views so we can use them to make non updatable view updatable actually okay so if we have we have any view and we are trying to insert any data in that view but we are not able to insert the data okay so in that condition we have to use this trigger and we can you know using this trigger we can insert the data in our view that is what we are going to do today all right so uh, first of all we have to see the uh, syntax first what are the syntax of uh, instead of trigger then we'll see the examples all right so syntax is very simple and clear how we are doing with other uh, triggers so same way we create this trigger the way of creating is create or replace replace or replace is uh, the optional thing so create or replace trigger your trigger name this is all up to you you can write anything here instead of uh, instead of operation you can uh, in this operation place you can write uh, anything insert or update or delete or merge or anything like in, in, instead of insert instead of update instead of delete instead of a merge this is all up to you okay so i'm actually trying to you know insert a data in our uh, view so for that purpose i have to use insert actually okay so instead of insert i'll use okay then on view name this is all up to you what's you, the view you have created on and on which view you you want to perform this trigger operation okay so on your view then you have uh, uh, for each row begin and your PLSQL code you can write all the statements here one by one okay statement one then two then three and so on okay you can write everything and then end the block so this is what our uh, you know uh, syntax is hope the syntax and syntax is actually clear to you now let's uh, see the example so actually as you know that we are going to perform this we are going to create this trigger on view so for that we have to create the view and before creating the view we have to create the table so that's why i have uh, written two uh, you know tables here so i have to create these two tables first so uh, here i have we have one table called example having uh, one data uh, one column f name which is of varchar 2 type having size as 100 another table example 2 which is of l name uh, column name varchar 2 size 100 okay so these two tables we have we, have, we will be creating this table first Control C and paste in our SQL workshop here. Control B and uh, create these two tables one by one. Create table got created. Create table got created. So we created two tables. Now let's jump to Sublime Text. We now we will insert the data in our tables. Okay, using this insert query, copy it and paste in our SQL workshop and uh, insert it before that write values here because i have missed values so you have to write values otherwise you'll get error so run this insert it run this insert it what happened sorry so yeah, it got in, uh, something it got stuck actually Okay, let's jump to Sublime Text and see other thing. It will get inserted there. Okay, so now we'll select. Uh, now we'll create view actually. How we will create view? Create view view name as select f name comma l name from example comma example two. Simple, very simple view. If you are no, not knowing about any of these things like how to create the table, how to insert data into table, how to create the view, I'll give link in description below for all this tutorial. Just go there and watch the tutorial and learn the thing okay so this is how we'll create the view okay so let's copy it and paste in our sql workshop as you can see we, are, we the row got inserted now paste it here uh, and we will create view here 
our view got created so let's do select start from our table and view so we'll select from our first table first our first table is example so we have mark here or another table is example 2 and uh, our third table is third third one is view actually so select start from our view name is vw underscore ysc so as you can see we have one row with two columns okay so this is how our view is now what the my problem is what my actually requirement is suppose i'll try to insert some data in our view insert into our view vw underscore ysc then we will write the column name here f name comma l name and we'll write values then we will write some data like steve and then jobs okay let's try to insert this as you can see cannot modify because we we cannot you know uh, insert any data in our view until we will not create instead of trigger so that is what i'm going to do now let's jump to sublime text we have created the view now we'll create the uh, trigger actually which will allow us to insert the data in our view okay so this is our trigger create or replace trigger i have trigger i have written trigger as iu underscore ysc instead of insert because i want to insert some data in our view so that's why i have written instead of insert on our view name v underscore ysc vw underscore ysc for each row begin and here what i'm doing insert into example f name values new dot f name if you're not knowing about this new just get the link in description below and watch the tutorial okay and then i'm inserting another data in our example two table l name values new dot l name okay hope this uh, thing is clear to you let me copy this and paste in our sql workshop before that let me clear the screen and paste it here so whenever uh, you know uh, we will insert something in our view that thing will get inserted in our table this trigger means the simple thing that whenever we will insert anything in our view uh, the same data will get inserted in our table the respective data actually so let's run this query trigger got created now let's try to insert you know something in our view so insert into vw underscore ysc we'll write f name comma l name then values then we'll write some data steve and then jobs and then run this so as you can see now we are able to insert the data one row inserted it means it was not actually working previously now we tried and it it get inserted now let's check with the table let's do select chart from our example table example and as you can see we have two data initially it was only mark now we got steve here okay so hope you got the thing how we can you know insert data in our view okay now let's select from our second table example 2 and run this so you can see we have two data initially it was only zuckerberg so hope the example and concept is clear to you for any confusion or doubt let me know in comment box and uh, don't forget to subscribe the channel and please like and share it if you feel that you got something you learned something from this video actually okay so that's it for today thanks for watching the tutorial thank you very much